Oh well, I'm gonna make a low D whistle today, hoping to finish it today. This is my forest where I cut my bamboo. <laughs> Some materials. The tools I'm gonna use. Drill, straight grinder, very important. Probably this. Here's some of the materials. I haven't still cut this. This is going to be the fibble block. Now, if you want, if you want to try this material, that's what you want to ask for. POMC. This is um, 20 millimeters diameter. This is the one I'm going to use. These are for um, alto and high whistles. Like, <clears throat> like this one. And some other tools I'm gonna use, pin files, and more regular type of files right there. Sandpaper, safety glasses, mask, gloves, and a lot of coffee. A lot. Very important. Okay. Oh, yeah. Of course, the saw. Saw for metal. I think that works best for PVC and, and this BOMC. Alright, I'll get to it. Okay, this is, um, this is what I be began with. Basically, I skipped the sawing part because everybody knows how to saw. So I had this um, piece of PVC. Uh, Cut it to about right length, a little bit too long as it was supposed to be in the beginning, and left some uh, extra length for this, and cut it like this diagonally to have the mouthpiece. I mean, this will be the wind weight cap here. Uh, this is, as you can see, this is cut from here will be put on this. I'll show you that later. I'm going to use this black BOMC to make a feeble block, but not quite yet. Now I'm going to cut this open, um, make it into a nice windway, and perhaps sharpen the feeble edge. Then I'm going to measure a piece of this, make it the right length, put it in, and pull this on. Little hole with the chisel always before I drill so the drill bit doesn't slide off. Now because of this hole, I just drilled before this, now it's easy to take this off. It's narrower here, but that's on purpose. I will now uh, sand it, file it, uh, use a straight grinder uh, to shape it. Now, I'm facing a choice. Let's try to do these. So what am I going to use to straighten this windway? And it is uh, more wide here for purpose. The wind plug is slightly smaller than the inner diameter of this pipe. So when I pull the windway cap here on this, it kind of it presses this windway like so. So it's going. It's not going to be like that. <clears throat> too wide. Now this round head probably goes... yeah... the 
best option. So I just noticed that the camera had stopped filming, but just quickly explain. Use this uh, straight grinder to uh, uh, basically just quite simply a little bit closer um, to shape this in a little bit uh, smoother than it was after sawing, and uh, I also can use. It. Can we see it from the camera? Yes. Um, I also shaped the fibulet just a bit and I will now file it to its proper shape. But I could actually leave it rounded as it is now. It does make a sound. And after making good low D, which I hope this will be, I'm gonna start definitely make some, do some experimenting on rounded fibula edges and all various shapes of feeble edges and we'll see what happens with that. But that's for later. Actually, I, I could put the fibble plug and the wind weight cap on, make the fibble finished and leave this edge rounded so you can hear what it sounds like and then shape it into a um, straight uh, fibble edge. So I'm just gonna clean up Oh yeah, now, now I'm gonna me measure a piece here. It's the right length for uh, for this fibble, and just gonna saw it. I'm not gonna film that because this is very hard material. It takes some time. It's boring. I'm just sawing this with the metal saw, and I'm gonna clean this. I'm gonna pull it on and test the fibble as it is now. When I saw, saw this, it's black BOMC, fibble block, and uh, yeah, it's cut in the angle like that. So, it's there. Now this goes in, the fibble block. Pretty nice when it requires to grind these off, shape it. Shape it further. In fact, it needs to be much further here. Basically, now they're on their place. I mean, it's a pretty small fibble hole, but I'll make it bigger. <clears throat> That's what it looks like now. So I'm gonna have to shape this off here, grind it, sandpaper it, use that ma machine over there. So that's uh, one of the last things I will do. Let's see if, if this works. Okay, it's, yeah, way too weak. My blow, right. Next, I am going to shape this square, make a square fibble hole and test it again.
Whew. doesn't look very good now but like I said that's the last thing to do if everything else is successful and the instrument works then I'll make sure everything is finalized in a nice way finishing is good and all that but I won't I won't do that before I know it's it's going to be a success. Okay, let's see. Very strong low tone. Pretty good too. pretty much done so once you get the fibble finished then it's time to saw the pipe to its right length to find the root note that's what I'm gonna do now so I'm gonna skip this part, everybody knows how to saw. So I'm basically taking my tuning meter, check where I am now, take a little piece, a little piece off and uh, and um, check it again. If it's still flat, I'm gonna go bit by bit, cutting the pipe shorter and eventually find the root note. Okay, time for the holes. Now I'm going to start drilling. I'm going to drill all the holes at once, but I'm going to start with very small drill bit. And then I'm going to start making the holes bigger, tuning them in the right tone, starting from the lowest, from this uh, end of the flute here. First this, when it's in tune, and this and so on because when you tune this hole it affects all of these holes and it always affects that way from the end of the pipe when you tune it so you, you never start anywhere here always start from this end and move here so that's what I'm gonna do now Clean up the finger holes, then I start tuning them with the straight grinder. Okay, it's day two. The camera's been malfunctioning and I'm at the point that I have tuned the finger holes. They are now ready. Basically everything is ready except this. This needs to be shaped, and I'm going to do it now using that. 
Um, then I'm just going to take this fibble apart, wash the parts and make it nice and clean and call it a day, I guess. That's what it looks like after sanding and after after the machine work. So I need to clean that up with the file. The pieces. Yeah, that needs to be taken care of. Look at that. That's pretty good. Same with that. natural that actually plays just a second C natural in fact plays in tune like this not like that I mean most whistles probably do it like this even mine but so happened to be that probably this hole ended up being too big for that but it plays very nicely in tune like this, so it's not a problem. It gives the root note in three octaves, it's pretty good.
feels comfortable in your mouth. It's a decently good mouthpiece. Feels alright. Well in tune. All that. End of story. <laughs>